Dermot Gallagher does not want to shy away if you're giving his opinion on Scottish football, even if it is a quickly 15 second condensed version of what could be a decent version of sports scene on Sky Sports. They just gloss over it. They're just like, haha, here we go. And even though he's actually went against quite a lot of Rangers fans this season, a lot of Rangers fans, not including myself, with this one, they clearly think it's a clear red card. And you know what? So does he. And it, yeah, the really bad tackle. I must be like the only Rangers fan out there that didn't think this Dan Casey one was a red. Um, just to put you... See when it happened, right? I was at the game. Didn't actually see it in real time. But judging by the reaction, I was like, how's he not off? Everyone's saying it had to be a red. The ref's, the ref's getting pelters. I've rewatched it. I don't think it's a red. I think if you honestly give this as a red, the game's gone. But I'd made a fit on my own channel earlier saying... But the fact of the matter is this, there's been far more, like, worse tackles, less tackles than this, like, more, not as bad tackles as this, and they've given reds. Like, I don't think Dujon Sterling should have been anywhere near sent off against Aberdeen. But we're going to look at this, all right? We're going to, I'm actually going to slow it down. We're going to watch it, and we're going to, we'll see if we can attempt to see why everyone thinks it's a red. For me, I, I don't think it was a red. So, as you can see, He wins, right, I, I'm sorry. Come on. Right, oh, hold on, we're gonna... So, he wins the ball. He, like, skims him, if that. That angle doesn't really... You know, he wins the ball about three yards away from McCausland, and McCaus... You know, McCausland kind of... I think bottle's too strong of a term, but... Because, yeah, it's not really a... Bo is it a bottle job? It's not really, because he's not really even competing for the tackle. Nah, I just... I, I actually do not grasp how anyone thinks that's a red. I mean... So, right, he clears the ball. Dan Casey has cleared the ball here. Right? Now, this is probably the, the connection that we're looking for. But, like, see if you actually look at it, right? It's not... It's not like a stamp. He, like, he skims the side of his leg. Should that be a difference? I, 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 think, if you, I think if you start giving reds for this, it's... The game is gone. Because for me, the big problem with this one is I think why there's been such an overreaction and why people think there should be a red is because McCausland got injured. And I said earlier he picked up a yellow Dan Casey. Turns out he just played on. <laughs> so, and then obviously got called over. I actually remember that at the game, but for some reason I thought he gave a yellow, but he didn't. Um, it's a shame. I mean, obviously I didn't want, no, I mean, I do, why would I want my own player to get injured? But it's one of those ones. I think if McCausland just gets straight back up, no one is even looking at it. No one is even talking about the possibility of a red here. It's the fact McCausland went down injured, and that's pretty much it. You look, I mean, come on. Like, we'll just go through it one more time. If he, can, if he properly connected with him, right, but on leg, you would see the motion, but, like, McCausland, it's, it's not real. McCausland's, like, spinning out of it, and... I, he doesn't look too injured, to be honest. Uh, Sue Smith said it was it was late. It is a red card, actually. And he's saying he thinks it is a red card. So, I mean, I think Dermot Gallagher and Sue Smith should go to spec savers. I, I, I cannot grasp. Loads of people in my comments are saying 100% a red card. So, um, you know, I'm not delusional. I'm not delusional. I realise that in my comment section, pretty much everyone thought this was a red, but I don't think it is, and I've got my own opinion, that's not to say that everybody else doesn't have their own opinion, but I don't think this is a red, because I always put it in the view of, well, what if one of the Rangers players did that, what if that was big, John Suter at the back, clearing a ball, and he's, he skimmed the player, that, uh, that would I be justified with a red, I'd say it's a fucking joke if you get sent off for that. I would. I would, man. But that's just my opinion. We'll have more videos on all the controversy at the weekend. But for me, 
Here, I'll tell you what though, would I have took a red? Absolutely, because <laughs> we would have won the game. I think we would have won the game if they went down to 10 men. Um, but yeah, it's that's the way it happened for Rangers, guys. Uh, there's no need to greet about this because we got let off the hook on Sunday and Rangers have got nine, got nine more games in the league. We've just got to lay the smack down. Hopefully, we'll be top of the table come the end. But until then, peace.